Hey everyone, it's Susan Pierce Thompson and welcome to the weekly vlog. I have a big announcement to make this week. This has been all year in the making, all of 2016. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but we have a brand new website here at Brightline Eating, a completely redesigned web presence. It's super exciting. Um, and as a matter of fact, this vlog right here is being housed on that new website. So that's the first thing that I want you to notice is uh, the website now is brightlineeating.com. Um, the vlog used to be at susanpiercethompson.com. Now, susanpiercethompson.com still exists. Let me kind of back up here and tell you about the history of this. It's kind of, um, it's kind of exciting here. Um, my first website ever was susanpiercethompson.com and um, it was created back um, well over two years ago, like two years and two or three months ago um, with a guy named Steven Gomez, um, who one of my former students um, turned me on to because uh, they were roommates at the time. And uh, my former student told me, hey, my roommate likes to build websites in his spare time. He's just kind of a, you know, website building fiend and he just loves to do it. He kind of does it for fun and for free and he just likes to geek out on it and he'd totally hook you up. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But she's like, he's really good, trust me. So I did trust her. So I, I called up Steven and um, I, <sighs> can't even say enough good things about how much I love working with Steven. It was really fun. In the summer of 2014, Steven and I went back and forth and back and forth and back and forth so many times, created the content and figured out this website. And um, we, what do we do? We, we launched it on August 5th. And, you know, at the time, what I was doing in my head was I was creating an email list so that I would have a readership when my book came out. That was the whole point. I was like, I just want to write a book. I've got information that I think would help the world. And in my morning meditation, the universe said, Susan, write a book called Bright Line Eating. And I went, okay. And then I learned that I needed to have a readership for anyone to read my book. And I was just building an email presence. So that website was literally so that if someone got forwarded one of my emails from a friend and they Googled me, they would actually find out that I was an academic with a PhD and had you know, academic credentials and all that stuff. That was it. It was just to provide you know, um, my academic credentials. That was it. Um, and, and I had an email list, so there was like a click here to sign up for the email list. Like that, that was it. <laughs> um, since then, Brightline Eating has turned into this whole other thing. Like we have boot camp courses and Brightline Healing courses, and I have a staff, and like, like it's this big movement. Like the website that I had was before there ever was a boot camp. It would, it was before I'd ever even thought that there ever would be a boot camp. Like, like a Brightline Eating boot camp was not the point of all this. It it happened organically because people wanted one, so I offered it. But um, the point was for me to build an email list to give free information so that when my book came out, people would know who I was and they would buy the book and read it. Like that was the whole point. Like publishing houses don't market books anymore. Apparently you have to have a, a platform online of your own. So in the meantime, two years have gone by, all this stuff has happened. Like we have, you know, you know, several hundred thousand people on the email list and blah 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 it's like oh my gosh and we offer all this all these services and all these courses and bright line eating is like this big movement now and the web the website is just sitting there doing its little job but um those of you in the bright line eating tribe if you're watching this you may have noticed like uh, I can send my friends to this website, but it doesn't really accurately represent what Brightline e Eating is, or it doesn't really have much information about it. It doesn't mention the boot camps. Like, so, you know, I remember when my husband went to quit his job, he's, he's the co-owner and the chief financial officer of Brightline Eating, and he had a really good career of his own, which he retired from, quit, in order to come do Brightline Eating full time. As he was like on the way out from this like big time finance company, they were like, what are you leaving to go do? And he's like, to go work in my wife's business, um, Bright Line Eating. And, and they're like, what is it? And he's like, it's an online weight loss program. And they're like, what's the URL? And he'd be like, well, 
it, it's not really how it works. You have to be on the email list and like they would Google and they'd be like, you're leaving your career to go? <laughs> like, like we just basically didn't have a web presence that accurately reflected what Brightline Eating had turned into. So at the end of last year, 2015, we hired Marisa Murgatroyd and her team at Live Your Message and uh, they have done an amazing job. And so the website is live now. There's a lot more information. So in addition to the blog or the vlog being on the new website at brightlineeating.com, there's information about the boot camps and the other programs that we offer. Now, not everything. This is something where if people want inf more information, um, we send that out by email still. So, um, but there's places where people can click if they want more information. And we, we really showcase the quiz because we want people to know where they stand on the susceptibility quiz, how susceptible their brain is to the pull of addictive foods. I really believe that that piece of information is the, is the, the really important first start that um, people need, the, the first step that people need when they think about whether bright line eating is for them or what they should do about their food problem or their weight problem. Um, I think that's the first step. So that's featured prominently on the website as well. I invite you to go explore um, and, and when we started working with Marisa, we showed her our logo and she was like, it's okay. <laughs> if, you're, if you're really committed to it, we could make it work, but I could tell that the way she said it, um, she was not thrilled by the idea. So um, we started off with a logo redesign process again, and uh, I'm really excited with what we came up with. This little, it's a, uh, yeah, I'll put, we'll, we'll splice it in here to this video, but the logo, it's like a bee for bright line eating. It's like a heart. It's like a butterfly kind of. It's got like a little a little swirl with a little leaf on the end of it to signify growth. And um, you know, the core value here at Bright Line Eating is love. We just love, we love what we're doing. We love our tribe. We love each other. We love ourselves. And um, you know, I think that heart kind of symbolizes that. So um, I've got a family member, my, my buddy Alan, who uh, creates little, um, little, animations out of things like that. So I'll, I'll have him make a little animation out of our logo and maybe I'll start to start the, I'll start starting the vlogs with that little animation. But anyway, that's in the future. For now, I'm pretty psyched that we have this amazing new website. We have an amazing new logo. I know it's gonna take time to get used to. The old logo was great. So change is hard. If you're having like feelings about that, it's okay, I understand. And um, thank you for your support of Bright Line Eating. Thank you for being with me arm in arm as we grow this movement into something that warrants an amazing web presence like this. Um, so the, the websites that have been completely redesigned are brightlineeating.com, which is where we are now, susanpiercethompson.com, foodfreedomquiz.com, and happythinandfree.com. You can head over there to download the free report. You can also find the free report um, at the very bottom of the Bright Line Eating website. There's a place where you could download it there too. So anyway, it's kind of exciting. Um, and yeah, go exploring. Send your friends over to brightlineeating.com. Um, and uh, that's, that's my announcement for this weekly vlog. It's been a long time coming. We thought we would have all these websites out in March, April at the latest. And um, as you can tell, uh, we ran a little behind schedule, <laughs> uh, mostly because I um, w was too busy to finalize all the content. So it's taken a long time, but uh, it's well worth the wait. Um, and yeah, welcome to the new Bright Line Eating website. So that's the weekly vlog. If you have something you want me to address on the weekly vlog, send it in. I'm at Susan at BrightLineEating.com. And now the website is BrightLineEating.com. I'll see you there. Bye.